We extend our best wishes to our fellow Catholics. It gives us great pleasure to have you return to our channel. I hope you have a wonderful day filled with grace in Christ. Beloved children, pay attention with open hearts and alert minds because a warning echoes in the winds of destiny and shadows are rising like never before. Close your windows and doors against the vast blackness that looms outside, but do not leave your houses, your haven. This profoundly significant message suggests that the difficulties of the present are only harbingers of even more severe storms to come. The Virgin Mary begs us to be alert and hear this conversation through to the end, since the truths contained within might be the secret to our survival. Every second that passes without looking for salvation pulls us farther away from the light's path and puts us on perilous spiritual detours. Raise your voices in prayerful fervor, asking for pardon for all the transgressions that tarnish our humanity. With prophecies coming to pass in front of our eyes, brotherhood is more important than ever. Like ravenous predators, temptations surround us, and heretical ideas subvert the divine intent and jeopardize the core tenets of our religion. The Virgin Mary exhorts us to uphold the eternal truth and forewarns of dire and unforgiving consequences for disobedience. The only things that will keep us steady in the face of impending storms are justice and faith. A profound prophecy is revealed, predicting that we will soon be engulfed in a time of immense darkness. This physical and mental gloom represents a period of transformation that will upend life itself. Extreme weather, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions are examples of natural calamities that are indicators of nature's suffering and a cosmic shift that humanity cannot ignore. The Virgin Mary and the Holy will offer direction and safety in the midst of this upheaval. The faithful are urged to stay united and get spiritually ready for the gloom that lies ahead. A sacramental life, intense prayer, and the Holy Rosary are important rituals. These spiritual resources strengthen our souls to withstand the challenges that lie ahead. The cosmic significance of their deeds, the value of prayer, and the necessity of preserving faith in the face of world change are all brought home to believers. The presence of the Virgin Mary is regarded as a beacon of hope and protection. The necessity of both practical and spiritual preparedness is emphasized in the sermon. It suggests keeping non-perishable food and candles on hand so that we are prepared for the physical difficulties of the great darkness. Spiritual preparedness is still crucial in addition to these preparations. Navigating these tumultuous times requires the guidance of the Virgin Mary, and it is evident that she calls for faith in heavenly protection. The call to embrace spiritual practices, pursue atonement and fortify faith by prayer, sacraments, and communal support comes at the end of the message. It emphasizes the value of remaining unified and unwavering in the face of impending darkness as well as the protective force of the Holy Rosary. Believers are urged to maintain their faith and optimism while putting their faith in heavenly protection. It is impossible to exaggerate how urgent this message is. As the Divine's representative, the Virgin Mary begs us to be watchful and ready. The difficulties we are currently facing are only a precursor to more difficult ones, and conquering them will depend heavily on our faith and solidarity. We get farther away from the path of light with every moment we waste without looking for atonement. We get farther away from the path of light with each second we spend without looking for atonement. It is crucial that we raise our voices in ardent prayer, asking for pardon for all the sins that tarnish our humanity. As prophecies come to pass and temptations surround us like ravenous beasts, fraternity becomes crucial. The basic roots of our religion are in danger from profane philosophies that contest the will of God. The Virgin Mary exhorts loyalty to everlasting truth and warns of dire and unforgiving consequences for transgression. 
We can only weather the impending storms by having faith and doing justice. According to the prophecy, there will soon be a period of darkness. Therefore, believers should stay inside and be ready spiritually. The essence of life itself is shaken by this darkness, which represents a period of spiritual transformation. A cosmic transformation that humanity cannot ignore is echoed by natural calamities, which are indications of nature's suffering. The faithful are urged to stay united and get spiritually ready for the gloom that lies ahead. Spiritual fortification can be achieved by the sacramental life, prayer, and the Holy Rosary. The cosmic significance of their deeds, the value of prayer, and the necessity of preserving faith in the face of world change are all brought home to believers. The presence of the Virgin Mary is regarded as a beacon of hope and protection. The necessity of both spiritual and practical preparedness is emphasized in the sermon. We can prepare for the physical difficulties of the vast darkness by keeping lights and non-perishable food in storage. Spiritual preparedness is still essential in addition to these preparations. Navigating these tumultuous times requires the guidance of the Virgin Mary, and it is evident that she calls for faith in heavenly protection. Through prayer, the sacraments, and communal support, believers are urged to embrace spiritual practices, pursue redemption, and fortify their faith. Unity is stressed as being crucial in overcoming the impending darkness, and the Holy Rosary is underlined as a protective force. Important lessons include having faith and hope and trusting in divine protection. The presence of the Virgin Mary provides direction during these tumultuous times. Hope and protection are provided by her cautions and advice. She asks us to remain alert, ready, and together. It is obvious that she is urging us to have faith and hope and to rely on heavenly protection. In summary, the passage is a powerful and pressing challenge for believers to pay attention with open minds and hearts when a warning echoes and shadows appear. It suggests staying inside homes and keeping windows and doors closed in the face of extreme darkness. This message, which is regarded as enormous, suggests that the difficulties we are currently facing are only signs of bigger storms to come. The revelations could be crucial to preservation. Therefore, the Virgin Mary begs the faithful to be alert and wait until the end of the speech. Every second lost without seeking atonement is a step away from the light's path. As prophecies come to pass, the appeal is to lift our voices in earnest prayer, asking for forgiveness of humanity's crimes and promoting fraternity. Disobedience jeopardizes the basis of religion, while temptations and immoral philosophies contest divine will. The Virgin Mary emphasizes that faith and justice will help endure impending storms while warning of dire consequences and urging commitment to everlasting truth. A prophecy of an impending dark era is included in the message, telling believers to stay home in preparation. It emphasizes how this gloom represents a period of spiritual transformation that upends the very fabric of existence. Extreme weather, Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are portrayed as manifestations of nature's sorrow, reflecting a cosmic shift that is impossible for humanity to ignore. The Virgin Mary and the Holy will offer direction and safety in the midst of this upheaval. Using the Holy Rosary, prayer, and sacramental life as means of spiritual fortification, the faithful are called to uphold unity and get ready spiritually for the approaching darkness. The cosmic significance of their deeds, the value of prayer, and the necessity of preserving faith in the face of world change are all brought home to believers. The presence of the Virgin Mary is regarded as a beacon of hope and protection. Along with spiritual readiness, the Quran stresses the importance of preparation, including pragmatic steps like keeping candles and non-perishable food in storage, the call to embrace spiritual disciplines, pursue atonement and fortify faith by prayer, sacraments and communal support 
concludes the discourse. It emphasizes the value of remaining unified and unwavering in the face of impending darkness as well as the protective force of the Holy Rosary. It is believed that the Virgin Mary's advice is crucial for surviving these trying times, as she calls us to have faith and hope while relying on divine protection. We appreciate you staying to the very end of the video. What do you think about today's subject? In addition to remembering to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get alerts whenever a new video is released, kindly leave a comment below.